All right, so this video is uh, how to find uh, a house to do an open house with. So you're responsible for doing you know, your required number of open houses and identifying them. We won't assign them to you. We may reach out to you and ask you if you want to, but um, you know, it's up to you to find them and identify them by basically Wednesday or Tuesday evening, basically Wednesday, maybe 10 a.m. Wednesday for the next weekend so that we have time to market it properly. So the number one thing that I would do, so we're going to have our daily calls and weekly calls, so you'll know what inventory we have. But let's say inventory on our team is light or you know, you've already done open houses on all of them or something like that. Then I would come into Matrix and uh, you can search by our office code. So down at the bottom of the Matrix search field, you've got um, additional fields. And I've already added these, but if you haven't, just go to Add Remove. You can go to Listing office code Let's see if I try and add it it'll give me an error because it's already in there but you could add it and then you'll just come back in down here where all the additional fields are you go to listing office code which is where listing office listing office code so our office Johns Creek is K W R S O five and that will give you everything and we'll come up here we just want stuff that's active right so we're going to turn all these off our office has 88 active listings so we can go to the map and you can see that they are all over the place so our office is around here so they're clustered in here but then we've got them all over the place so you're going to generally want to do them within you know five ten miles of our office you know milton alpharetta over to cumming sugar hill to Cula. Uh, those are our territories. You'll be familiar with that. So I'm going to jump to our office and then back out. And you'll see all these are all our active listings. Now, you, know, you probably don't want to do an, an open house on a million dollar listing. So I'd like to get in here and, and set that price at maybe 200 to, you know, 500. That's kind of our bread and butter. So if you can do that, you might go up to six if you want to. 500 should give you some good stuff. Um, you can do it on a townhome as well. So you click on that button. And so you see that we have 47 matches. Results. Actually, let's go over to map. So there's our office. And I would think that you'd want to do you know, something in this area. You probably don't want to do here. Right? I don't even know what that is. You probably don't want to do out here. So, so you can just uh, zoom in a little bit. I hope your computer doesn't freeze. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. So you will uh, let's draw a little thing. I would say from here to here, over to here. We really don't want to go on that side of 85. And come over here. I could do this one. So these are all the listings in our little area between two and five or 200 and 600,000, whatever I put in there, with our office. And then you can go in here and you can see the agent's names. And just for shits and giggles, let's put 600. There we go. All right. Uh, Laurel Springs is a gated community, so you probably don't want to do it in there. Um, I think the Whaley's tend to do their own, but sometimes I think they look for somebody. So call these people. Easy to find them. Here you go. This is in Wentworth Manor, Ryan Assad, awesome guy. I mean, everybody on our team. You can call anybody. They may say no, but who cares? So the first thing I'd do is look for our team members. So I'd look for Steve Uvagi, and I think everything I have, I have one. So here's one in Aberdeen. But they don't want to do an open house this weekend, and then I've got something else. Uh, but it's at 600,000. Where is that, by the way? Anyway, whatever. Um, let's see. Joanne Bolt has her own team. You probably don't want to call her, but Mona might let you. Nobody Parker would let you. Uh, yeah. So Tracy Haskins is phenomenal. So you can call these. So first look for ones on our team. So I guess that would, and, and really they're all going to be in my name. So all you have to do is look for me, Steve Uvagi, see what I have, hit me up. And then if not, you can just kind of go through here and decide who you want to. Now, before you do that, if you want a quick fix, you probably can just come here 
and go to to our Facebook page and I just put a hey does anyone want an open house done the following weekend or whatever now in this particular instance what I did was I had already gone through that matrix list and I saw the people who had the, the properties I would prefer to do an open house on so I tagged them to bring their attention to it you don't necessarily have to do that but it's an added thing and you can see that Cindy might um, Jamila might and then I have other friends as well who aren't necessarily in this office so let's see go, we'll just do a start a whole new search and if we go to listing agent name listing agent full name we go to Devin Watkins and again we just want actives Devin is a friend of mine and he will and if he's not doing an open house on it or if he feels he has one to be good for you uh, you can do this and they are let's see here he's got so either of those would qualify for our office let's see who else we have we have uh, another friend of mine is Jonathan M-A-T-H-A-N Pittard Jonathan Pittard's got three go over in here uh, and in fact I've already so for this particular instance he's already told me this Crescent Landing one is or no, no no it was Beacon Station probably the best one to do um, so you got that and let's see now this is up to you but you could actually do an open house for a FISBO and it might be an opportunity to earn their business so if you see a FISBO and it's in our target area, just knock on the door. Be like, hey, I'm a realtor in the area. Just wanted to get a feel for your house. Can I see it? You know, I'm a buyer's agent for the results team. You know, I, I, I don't know that I have a buyer, but you know, I won't know if I don't see it. <clears throat> and then we're like, hey, listen, I, I want to do an open house this coming weekend or the weekend after. And you know, why don't I just do an open house on your on your on your house? You'd, you'd sign like a one day listing agreement, no MLS, no games. We're not playing any games, but you do have to sign something because giving me permission to, to let people into your house um, but I do an open house for you and we'll do 30 signs we'll advertise it on Facebook if I find a buyer great you know you're looking for a buyer anyway and you know if I if I don't not, no problem I'm a, I'm a licensed agent I've you know bonded whatever so that's something that you could do uh, let's see who else is a friend of mine uh, I'll add some names here but Linda Jacob, if she has one, will let you will let you do an open house on hers. Um, and let's see, that's all I can think of for this tutorial. But uh, there you go. That's how to find places to do open houses. Uh, please pick the house you're going to do an open house at uh, no later than. Uh, Wednesday morning by 10 a.m. so that we have time to get it into Zillow and all the uh, Georgia open houses and all those sites and um, and then there'll be a separate tutorial about how to actually do the open house. Thank you.